Hello, good evening. Welcome to dot programming dot blogspot dot com. Uh, today, I will show you how to use label and text component in Java in Swing. So, first of all, create a new project in using NetBean. Label and text component and that is the project name in which we have uh, a J label control and uh, some text component like text area uh, text field formatted text field and many more things okay so now add a new J frame to add these control on a form and the class name is label text example that is under in same project label text box example yeah that is drawing area is here by using the palettes drag a j label control if you want to know about that properties of the j label by using you can change that properties first of all select your label in using navigator and or select the properties directly change the text that is display on your label yeah that is the name again select label 2 come to properties and change second label text similarly for the third label phone number and last one is query okay that's fine so the first property of the label is text okay now arrange that control sequentially select that label and change your background of the label like uh, any color you want to select like red color you can see that your border of the um, color is red run your file but your background color does not appear at this time okay that's fine now that is four label here name username phone number and query okay this is the text property of the label I will show you by using the navigator you can select the label and change displayed mnemonics mnemonics means you can assign the shortcuts shortcut keys so name and username contain N and U phone number contain P and the query contain Q okay now if you want to set uh, your uh, mnemonics then must to use any control on a designing area so first of all add a text field okay resize it for username you can put another text field phone number uh, actually we have a uh, formatted text so cut it okay we have two uh, text field for the name and username okay add another j label for your passwords because in this tutorial I will show you the password text box also so change the text of the label 5 j label 5 is password okay here we have two text fields and five label control by using palette control you can pick password field that's fine
and a one formatted field formatted text field for the phone number because in this um, formatted text field we can set a mark or you can say the format of the phone number that is the text area for the query so here we have two text fields one password field one formatted field and one text area control on this form select the text for that so remove the text from all of the text fields one by one remove remove yeah you can see that all of the text fields are empty by default sorry uh, you can set empty so here we have a display mnemonics is n for the label name and set the label for that is uh, label for the text field 1 I mean to say j text field 1 you can set the fonts of the font also of the label also there are the lots of properties are available for the label these properties are discussed in later video tutorial so first of all change the variable name of the text fields okay if you want to set icons in the label then set the pictures of the label by using that icon property file or the URL so click to ellipse button and select a picture from your computer drive pictures select small pictures for your label control like we have a uh, Apple So apple.png select it yeah yeah and that is the picture is by default left align and the text is right align so you can set also the leading and trailing of the pictures that is right horizontal alignment is right so the text of the pictures is by default right and you can also set the left and right if you want to set the shortcuts so first of all change the variable name of the text field right click on it and change the variable name of the text field is first text field so name text I prefer okay for the username I set user text okay Similarly for all of uh, the controls change variable name is pass, pass text for the phone number formatted text field is font text and the last one is query your data. now set the label for for your shortcut if your uh, display mnemonics is n set the label for for username is username user text okay password is for the label for here we have not display mnemonics I mean to say not shortcuts password contain P so label for past text phone number contain also P so change it here that is H for your phone number I will um, focus on that uh, text box by using that shortcuts using alt plus 
the key which is assigned by you to the control so run your application to check your shortcuts yeah you can see that underline of the text is appear for the phone number h is underline password for the p underline i mean to say alt plus n if you press then focus that n the text box that is name text box similarly for the password and the username okay you can use alt plus that key alt plus which key is used to in mnemonics similarly for the tooltips when your mouse cursor moves on the object i mean to say when your mouse cursor reaches the boundary of the object then display a label or you can say on mouse over display a tooltip named text box in the yellow text box okay this is the tooltips the second is the label control okay you can set the border of the label by using the border property the line border you can see that again right click and run this file for yeah and the line border is display looking like this so here we have a lots of properties for the label as well as the text component so uh, for the password field set the columns i mean to say here we have a password field and the um, formatted text field for the phone number so set the columns to the password field and all of the fields in uh, in this we have 12 character we can insert now save this and check your password i mean to say your file your uh, text box contain dot 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 correct uh, dot 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 for the passwords okay if you want to change the format of the phone number you can use formatted field and set formatted factory I select mask here we have a 3 and the 4 hashes so we can use for the phone number so use the custom 3 3 and 4 and separated by the dash so here to use 9998291995658 okay so 3 3 and 4 the combination of the phone number in the query text box uh, in the query text area you can set the wrapping property and the horizontal and the vertical ruler is automatically aligned for your query text box so if you want to wrap your text then set line wrapping property of the text box of the text area so here we have a checkbox for the editable and also that line wrap as a text box line wrap property of the control by using the checkbox run file hello word example you can see that your line is wrapping just after and your vertical ruler is working correctly so thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorial please keep watching my all other video tutorials if you want to learn more about the java and swings web style words of the uh, text area so please subscribe my channel 
if you want to learn many more things about java and swing and hibernates um, android etc uh, i will provide you better video tutorials from other channels and i promise you i will provide you better video tutorials from others so please subscribe my channel thank you thank you very much